Hello, Paul. So one last algae tour. I don't need to continue spending money. There's sort of a natural succession. You can see we got scum and clearish water. There's white stuff here on the surface. <clears throat> this is new. This is just showing up. I don't know in the last week. It showed up first in this tank. Fairly impressive at this point. This small tank, a week ago, it looked like it was sort of in its prime. It was the only tank that didn't have scum on the surface. It's the former chlorella tank that was pretty much a failed effort. Um, it now in the last week has migrated. We've got some, some surface uh, 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 mat starting to form. And that seems to be what happens. It goes from here, we've got an old mat, an old mat. I'm getting ready to dump all of this stuff outside because I don't need to spend money on it still. I reduced the lighting, it was a while ago when we were talking about it, both in intensity, cutting it in half, and in hours from 18 or 20 down to perhaps 14. The natural succession seems to be that it grows in the open water. This is the old speedy tank here. It grows in the open water. As it gets denser, it moves to the surface. That then tends to block things out. Below, it forms a mat, which then it's, the water clears up because there's no light. The mat gets heavy and dense, and then in this tank, the mat started to break up and drop down into the water, allowing more water growth, and there's the old mat, and now a new surface scum. This is that weird dry surface scum, you may have seen it, is starting to form. That'll be another mat that blocks the lower light, etc., etc. That seems to be the natural progression of the closed algae tank.